Hi guys, my name is Srinya Tamra. I'm in 6th grade and I'm in Woodrow's in Middle School. So today is Saturday, it's a fun day, but today it's the most interesting topic because it's Saturday and we're going to be talking about the journey of NASA. So we're going to be talking about NASA, all its missions, and when it was established. So it, it will be a fun topic. It's fun, not like just study. It's fun, okay? It's fun science. So let's first talk about when it was founded. It was founded in 1958 after this spacecraft named Sputnik 1 was successful. And then on October 1st, 1958, it was um founded, okay? Established. So today, we're going to be talking about the launches of the NASA. So, 1900s? Okay, guys. So the first launch, you know it, it's the Sputnik. So, it, let's write, 1957. It was launched in 1957. See, so yeah, Sputnik 1 was launched in 1957 by the USSR. Okay? USSR launched it. And then after this launch, NASA was founded in 1950. It was launched on October 1st, 1957 by the USSR. And NASA was founded after, one year after, Sputnik 1 was launched. And the Sputnik 1 was so small, it was like the size of a ball. And it was man-made. And it was the first space satellite in space to, like, it was orbiting the Earth. It did not go anywhere else, okay? It's very hard to leave Earth, so yeah, that's why. And then, let's talk about the Mariner program. The Mariner program started in 19... 63 okay mariner so yeah let's talk about mariner mariner um were three probes that went to venus mars and mercury three of the inner planets except earth inner planets are mercury venus earth and mars okay but earth is our home planet we already know a lot about it so we don't need to do that but we studied the other three inner planets which was mercury venus and mars so the mariners went and studied about the atmosphere, all the ground, yeah, all of it. But Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere, so yeah, mariner, the the mariner at Mercury study about something else. Then in 1961, there is this program called the um, the Ranger program. Ranger. There were nine rangers, ranger one, ranger two, ranger three, all the way up to ranger nine. There were nine rangers and they were launched in one rocket only. The same rocket for each launch. And they all went to the moon, there were satellites to, they were launched to the moon to study about the lunar surface and all of geothermal science about the moon, if there's lava and yeah, ranger. Now let's move on tonight. We may get out of water here, but like, please don't, Please do mind about that. So, 1997. There were two launches in 1997, which was Cassini and Pathfinder. Can I see it? Okay, so let's first start with Cassini before going to Pathfinder. Cassini is a spacecraft which go which go was to go to Saturn, study about Saturn and all of its moons and um rings. And then it's also its goal was to like dive into Saturn's atmosphere for its grand finale in 2017. And now let's talk about the Pathfinder mission. The Pathfinder mission was a rover mission which went to Mars and studied about its habitability, the surface and everything. It landed on the surface. Mars Pathfinder rover. It looked like their classic rover, but yeah, it's not. Then the last 1900s event was the 1970 Space Shuttle Program. Oh my god. Okay, here, can you, can you guys see it? Okay, so the Space Shuttle Program. It was from 1970 to, to 2011. They were when space shuttles went to space to study about Earth, Moon, uh, to help astronauts were sent there too to like f make the International Space Station, which is two football fields long, and it was 
finished in 2006. And so space shuttles went up and helped make the International Space Station. And the last flight of the space station was in 2011, okay? The space shuttle, not the space station, okay? Now let's talk about the 2000s. So, 2004 first, Cassini again. Can you guys see it? Okay, this is when Cassini reaches Saturn. It has spent like a lot out of time in space and it reached Saturn finally in 2004 and it started studying up Saturn. So it started studying the atmosphere, the moons, uh, Titan, and then Hygiene in 2005, Cassini again. In 2005, Cassini discovered that there was li liquid methane ri running on Titan. Liquid methane. You guys know what methane is, right? It's, but if we freeze methane, like if we, if it's so cold that methane's there, it goes to some, it needs to be super duper cold for it to become liquid form. And it's very cold, the liquid on Titan. So if we jumped into that pool, it would sink. Okay, 2008, the Phoenix letter. Okay, I'm not gonna write it because I may spell it wrong. So well, I'm just gonna write it. Don't mind if I spell it wrong. Oh my God, it's so hard to spell it. It's like it's a Spanish name. Anyways, the Phoenix lander is a lander which went, which went to Mars and landed in 2009. And it studied, it was, it, op, it landed in this um Arctic, Martian Arctic. And then it studied about the ice and everything for five months before its batteries went flat. That's such a like funny reason for it to stop working he worked for five months before it's bad he's like flat oh my god and then 2011 the curiosity rotor was launched curiosity rover so curiosity rover was launched in 2011 and the, and its goal was to study about it land on mars and study about everything almost everything about mars and it's still operating today. It did not die yet. It's still operating. It's but Curiosity rover was successful. So NASA's plan to launch another rover in 2020. And then now it's 2020. But I don't know when the launch is gonna occur. 2018. Okay. 2018 was when the Parker Space Probe was launched. Parker. Okay. The Parker Space probe was a probe part of solar probe or space probe to study the sun so it went close to the sun entered the sun's atmosphere it had like a lot of protective CO shields because of the sun's extreme heat and it's going to be the first spacecraft to touch the sun it's going to touch the sun but i don't even know if that's going to be possible it's going to study the sun until 2025 and then in 2025 it's going to go inside the sun sink in the sun we don't know if that's going to be possible, but yeah, mostly it will not. Two more events, okay? 2016, Osiris Rex. Osiris Rex. Osiris Rex is the asteroid sample mission. Its goal is to go just travel two years to asteroid Bennu and then get its asteroid samples and mail them back to Earth. And... It was launched in 2016 and it arrived in 2018, okay? And then it collected some asteroid samples in 2019 and now it's coming back to us. That samples is coming, Osiris Rex is going to come back to us in early 2020 and in late 2020, the samples are going to arrive. 2022 or 2020, like, we don't know yet. It's not scheduled yet. So that's basically it. For, so guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, smash that like button and we'll see you all next time. Bye!